Yo, so y'all about to witness this interview that Suge Knight has just done, man. If y'all don't know who Suge Knight is. Suge Knight is the guy behind Death Row. Who a lot of people have said that it was actually his fault why Tupac was actually murdered. So I'm going to play the clip of Suge Knight speaking about possibly Snoop Dogg being behind the death of Tupac. Before his death. Puffy situation. Some even speculated Combs was involved in Tupac's death. He denies that. You know, I really, really, really gotta have a real conversation with Snoop. Snoop gets a prop. The reason why I gotta have a conversation with him about is that I've been doing that young dude a long time. He ain't young no more, but I've been doing it since he was a young man. And I did everything in my power to make sure he kept his freedom. Murder was the case that they gave me. I'm innocent. For almost two years, Snoop has been out on a million dollars bail paid by Death Row Records. And I knew that Pac did everything right by him by putting him on all eyes on me, speaking about him and being real with him. And if it's true what they say, face to face is going to be a lot of explaining to do. You know? Because number one, Warren did a thing where he was on there talking whatever was shit they be doing out there and he said that Snoop had a radio. He was at Snoop House when the shit happened. I heard a horn, bing, 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 honking in front of my house. Mm -hmm. I looked out the house and Snoop was outside in a uh, a white motherfucking Rolls Royce. Then he had this the, the, the next tail back then. Remember the motherfucker? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> He had the motherfucker could go that whatever it was, it was hitting him all the way from what was going on from Vegas. Uh. And then he started getting calls and shit, and they was telling him that Tupac got shot and da 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 da. That sound crazy right there, y'all. Y'all think about this, like what bro just said is like it almost seems like Snoop Dogg kind of knew, like Tupac was about to get hit. That's what it seems like based on what dude's saying. Like he got the phone. He's like, yo, man, yo, no, ain't no way, bro. Snoop, hey, yo, Snoop, there's no way Snoop did this, bro. You have a radio, you know, if you was at the fight with us and you had a security detail. I'm not having security detail. What are you doing with the radio? Two, we always go to the fight together. We always go to the club together. Even when they did that half as watered down movie on pot and he said you gonna be at the fight and all that type of shit <laughs> so then all of a sudden Warren says on the stage where they listen to the radio and they hear the gunshots and basically somebody told them we got them or they got shot or all this shit so how would you know that and why would you have a play by play on the radio I kicked everybody out. Get the fuck out of here, everybody. Get out of here, man. And he took off. That's when he went to Vegas mm -hmm. to go see him. And that's when he went out there and when he went to the hospital. But I had, if I wouldn't have talked to him. That's crazy. And, and, and got him to come over to my house, he probably would have been right there in the car with, the, with them. That's crazy, bro. He said Snoop kicked him out. Then he came to the hospital. Snoop never came to the hospital. Period. So he calling Cap and what Snoop Dogg's story is. Snoop Dogg's story is, yo, he showed up to the hospital once he found out that Pac was was shot. And what Suge is saying is, yo, I get that he told y'all that, but Snoop actually never came to the hospital. Now, are we supposed to believe the big bad Suge Knight? Like, what reason would Suge Knight have to lie about Snoop Dogg coming to the hospital. And why would Snoop Dogg say he was coming to the hospital if he never went to the hospital, man? That's why I say, yo, L.A., Los Angeles, like California in general, bro, like, it's a real crazy place because at the end of the day, man, it's a lot of gang affiliations, a lot of street ties that you got to watch out for. You never, you never fully know where the shots are coming from because it could come from your closest people to you because every all these gangs are like intertwined. Snoop was a crip. Um Pac and Shug, I guess they were blood. I know Suge was a blood, so if Suge was a blood, then I'm guessing he getting protection. Tupac is getting protection from the blood. So it's just to get spooky, bro. Like, I can't believe that he's saying 
What are you saying? I can't believe it. Then, Dash is on some other shit. I really hate bringing up Dash because I take mental health serious and I know he got mental problems, but Dash was on a situation saying that <clears throat> Snoop told him they can't go to the fight, can't go to the club, can't go to Vegas. He's going to fuck shit up because something going to happen, basically. Were you in Vegas? No, we heard about it because they was trying to get us to go to Vegas. And we was like, Dog Pound, we was really on our fuck death row shit, really. You know what I'm saying? We was, at, already, that saying, time. We was already saying fuck death row. Um, Dad was like, no, I'm not going to that shit. You want to roll with them? You're going, it's going to be all the bloods there and blah, blah, blah. And none of the homies are going to be there. And I was like, dang, I didn't really think of it like that. I don't really feel uncomfortable. But now that you're saying like that, he's like, Snoop ain't going. Like, why would you want to roll? Why, we don't roll like that. You roll you roll with death row when the homies roll. And I was like, you right. So I ran back over there and I told Brock, like, Brock, I probably ain't going to be able to roll. I'm like, that's one thing. Then Badass do an interview. And you know, Pac being Pac, Pac was a real, real, real good motherfucker about getting everybody involved. So he seen Badass, Badass told the story. He said, Dad, what you doing? He said, well, they ain't putting me on that. He said, come on, I'll put you on the song. So he put Badass on, smuckle on, uh, on one of the songs that blew Badass up. Dad told him, well, you can't go, something's gonna happen, basically the Pac or me, whoever. You go, it's gonna fuck shit up. He said that he was living with his mother and living with Dash, so he had to listen to Dash and not go to the fight. So I ran back over there and I told Pac, like, Pac, I probably ain't gonna be able to roll. And he was like, that's what's up? He was like, well, you know, well, I'll catch you, you know, when I come back and blah, blah, blah. And we chopped it up and that was the last time I ever talked to him, like after, after when he got ready to leave, like we said, we said our goodbyes, and that was the last time I ever seen him or talked to him in life. And half this shit, a motherfucker was with KPD, according to KPD and everybody else, and everybody noticed, street noticed, I was locked up, but Snoop. If y'all don't know who KPD is, he's the guy that they basically just got, like, 20 something years later, they're trying to pin the murder on Keefe D. Keefe D went on various different interviews saying, yeah, like, yo, I was in the car, I seen who shot Pac, I know the whole story. And after like going on DJ Vlad, the feds and whoever else involved, they finally got enough evidence to arrest bro. And he's currently being charged for the death of Tupac. So that's who uh, Shook Knight's talking about when he mentioned Keefe D. Dads and the rest of them, they did a song with one of the niggas from that from that side who was in the car. Who was in the car, yo? All right, so Suge is basically saying like, you know, that the people that killed our homie, which I thought was both of our homies, Tupac, the people that were in that car, you know that it was them, and you went and did a song with them after they killed your man's. Like, bro, just think about that for one moment, like. If you got a friend, right, and if your friend dies and you know who was in the car that actually was a part of the murder of, of your friend, would you guys go out there? If you're an artist, would you guys go out there and collaborate with the said people that was a part of killing your homie, bro? Like... This is actually getting real, real spooky. Like, think about that for one moment, bro. Snoop Dogg did a whole verse for somebody that allegedly shot and murdered your friend, your homie, the one that looked out, the one that was putting you on songs, the one that, you know? Like, I don't know, bro. That ain't no, that ain't loyal. That that's Louis the That ain't loyal. Shit. Mm. Motherfuckers don't need that type of loyalty. Mm. And you turn around and say, why is all these different stories about one incident? But the thing about it is like this. In the 30 years, this incident, they use this incident against me to try to run me. So what I mean by that, they put the narrative out there that I had pop killed. Now, this is, this is why Suge Knight is speaking about this and basically saying that, yo, Snoop Dogg was actually the one behind the hit. 
this whole time, Suge, like, yo, y'all try to blame me. How could I have shot Pac or got Pac killed? But remember, one, I'm sitting in the car with Pac, so to to try to put a hit out on Pac, wouldn't that ultimately put a hit out on me? He got a point with that. Now, there's been some theories out there to say, like, yo, these were trained assassins that 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 came there and, and shot up the vehicle, so... I'm talking about marksmen. These people were were people that just had this magical shot where they not missing. So I don't know about that. I don't know if I buy that story, that theory that like the people that did the hit were these snipers that just knew to shoot Pac and nobody else. Like, bro, no, I don't buy that story. So I don't know, man. I don't think nobody going to put out a hit on somebody and be in the car with them. Like, that's just crazy. Like, think about that. Like, if you gonna, if you going to do it, you're not going to be in the car. It was a hit out on me and people had guns and I ended up in prison because I didn't die and somebody else did. Makes no sense. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you look at that part of it, then you look at the scenario how everybody used pot to make their stuff famous or make their project better. You got people who use their songs with pot and tell them how much they love pot, but they do songs with puffy. You got Steve Harvey, old bitch ass. What? You know, this motherfucker telling him, well, fuck Pac, according to his, uh, everybody else. He brings um, Snoop and Puffy on there and say, these the dudes who's running this shit in the East Coast, West Coast shit. What's up, Snoop? What's up, huh? Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, wait a minute, fellas here. Hold up. You know, I know all about this East Coast, West Coast rivalry thing here, but we in Chicago now. This rivalry stuff, we got to stop it, man. We stop that, we stop a lot of this violence. Yo, Steve, check this, man. All that East Coast, West Coast stuff is a bunch of media hype. It's been my dog from day one, you know what I'm saying? It's all good between me and him. That's my peoples. For real, that's what we came in for. We came in to light it up and ride it up. We make music shit happen. All right, that's kind of foul, bro. I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all. I ain't got to watch no more of this. This is kind of foul, yo. Snoop Dogg, everybody know the lead stories that Puffy actually... Y'all, come on, man. Y'all know, y'all, they, they, they say it was Puffy that, that paid the dude to, to go bram him. Like, if, I, don't, I, just can't, I just can't understand that. Like, this is spooky, bro. I can't understand why somebody would do this, bro. Like, why would you align yourself, man? Y'all think Snoop had something to do with this, bro? I don't know what's going on, man. Y'all let me know, bro. This is spooky, bro. I'm gone.